Woo, get a load of this spooky dark forest we've got here. This used to be a healthy, mature, old-growth forest ecosystem, but about 50 years ago, it was clear-cut logged, and these forests haven't evolved to experience stand-altering disturbances of the scale and frequency that industrial logging operations work on, and as a result, we've got this tightly packed second-growth forest here that creates some really big problems. See, this density creates a really thick canopy that lets very little light into the understory, which prevents a healthy mix of diverse plants from developing here, which not only limits biodiversity, but alters the hydrology so that falling rainwater here erodes these soils here quicker, creating flashier sediment-laden flows downstream. This density is also much more prone to wildfire as the lack of vegetation and soils here fail to maintain moisture throughout the hottest of months and the tight spacing and loads of ladder fuel on all these younger trees, those lower down branches here, means that fires that do break out are allowed to quickly spread into the canopy where they burn hotter, faster, and more out of control. But just over here, we've got this lovely little stretch of forest here that was logged at the exact same time that we came in about a decade ago to do some restoration work to show just how effective these methods are at helping these forests mature in a healthy manner. And check it out. So green, so lush, so gorgeous. So by thinning out trees and increasing the spacing, more light is let in through the canopy, which allows for different shrub species, mosses and ferns to grow where they can hold the soil together, create more berries, food and habitat for wildlife, and store more moisture. At the same time, this reduced competition here allows these remaining trees to grow faster, stronger, and much bigger, while naturally dropping those lower branches to reduce the risk of wildfire spreading. Collectively, this creates more habitat for all sorts of biodiversity, while also regulating water flow through these ecosystems to create more consistent and prolonged flows in our rivers with less flooding, so that all these ecosystems linked to our forests can not only function, but thrive.